So if you've ever tried to take a self-portrait before, I'm sure you very quickly realized how complicated and clunky and annoying that process can be. You set your camera up on a tripod, you kind of framed the shot, and then you decided where you wanted to stand in that frame. You ran your camera bag out to that location to kind of focus on things and then lock the focus so the focus wouldn't change. Then you set the self timer, click the shutter button, ran out to that spot trying to remember exactly where you put the camera bag so you'd actually be in focus, waited for the self timer to tick down, the photo takes, you run back to the camera, check the photo, and then repeat. It's a very slow, very annoying, very clunky process. And even with like Bluetooth and wireless apps where you can view what's happening on your camera, change the camera right from your phone and even trigger the camera from your phone, taking photos with a self timer is a very slow and clunky process. And honestly, it's a super static process. You don't really get to move around within the frame. You don't get to run around and jump and actually have a lot of expression. You kind of have to stand in one spot or else you're not going to be in focus. And so when my wife and I left on a trip last year out to the Oregon coast and really wanted to take some photos of ourselves on the coast, I started thinking, is there a better method for taking self-portraits than simply using my camera's self-timer or trying to trigger the camera from a Bluetooth or wireless app? And let me tell you, there's a much better way. So the method that I landed on using to capture these really spontaneous and authentic, candid, movement-filled self-portraits was by combining the AI autofocus technology of mirrorless cameras with an intervalometer to trigger the camera every second or two. So if you know anything about mirrorless camera technology, you'll know that the autofocusing systems in mirrorless cameras are mind-blowingly good. The ability to specifically hunt for people, to search for eyes, to focus on eyes automatically, or to even look for animals, planes, trains, cars, any of that kind of stuff. The auto focusing technology in mirrorless cameras is incredible. And so what I wanted to do with this self-portrait method is to harness that artificial intelligence tracking technology so that my wife and I could run around through the frame, interact with each other, have a lot of fun and move and have the camera still focus and track us. But then the question becomes, how do you actually trigger the camera? That's where the intervalometer comes in. So an intervalometer is basically just a device that you use to automatically trigger the shutter of your camera. Intervalometers are typically used for capturing time lapses. So it'll trigger a photo every second or every two seconds or 10 seconds or whatever you set the interval to be. And then you combine all those frames into a video and play those back very quickly. And that turns into a time lapse. That's how time lapses are created. Most cameras actually have these built in. If for some reason your camera doesn't, you can purchase one pretty cheaply that will automatically fire and trigger your shutter button, which also includes triggering the focus. And so when you combine the AI technology and the focusing technology of your mirrorless camera with an intervalometer that triggers the camera every second, every two seconds, something like that, you can capture some really amazing, candid, spontaneous, movement-filled images. So as long as you have a mirrorless camera that can automatically detect people and specifically eyes, as well as your camera has a built-in intervalometer, this method will work for you. So here's how you set up the camera. The first thing you want to do is set your autofocus zone to be the entire frame because the entire idea is to be able to run around within the frame and have the camera track you and focus on you, you need to make sure that you're not set to spot focus or to a limited zone focus. You wanna set your entire autofocus zone to full so the camera will hunt for focus within that entire autofocusing frame. Then you wanna make sure that you have person detection enabled as well as eye detection. This tells the camera, look within the entire autofocus frame specifically for people. Then once you've set up all your autofocusing settings, you wanna to move to the intervalometer. So personally, I like to shoot at about one shot every second, one shot every two seconds maximum. Now I would say if you're gonna be running around and moving a lot within the frame, set the intervalometer to take a photo every second. That'll make sure that you're capturing all that movement as it's, as it's happening. And you're not having a long delay between shots. If you're doing portraits or something where you're gonna be a little bit more slow moving within the frame, you can set the intervalometer to every two seconds or even every three if you have to. Every two seconds or every three seconds is great for taking portraits. And then the final thing you'll be allowed to decide within the intervalometer is how many photos you want it to take. Personally, I like to set it to about 30 to 50 frames. This allows me to kind of set up a scene, run out, do the movement that I wanna have happen, and then run back and kind of look through those images and see if I wanna reframe the shot or if I need to recapture anything because the expressions weren't what I wanted them to be or anything like that. So typically 30 if I'm taking portraits at like a two second interval, 50 if I'm taking some more fun, candid lifestyle stuff with my wife at a one second interval. And then from there, you just set up your camera, frame the shot, get the exposure ready, just like you would with a self timer photo, click the shutter button and the camera will automatically start clicking away, run out and have fun. So three quick tips to help this method work even better for you. The first one is set your autofocus to continuous or servo if you're on Canon. 
I found that every once in a while there can be a little bit of a lag between when the camera starts focusing and when the shutter actually clicks. And so setting your focus method to continuous where the focus is constantly focusing from the moment you start focusing to when the shutter button clicks really helps those photos be in focus a lot more of the time. So first tip is to set your autofocus mode to continuous. So tip number two is to treat this like an actual photo shoot and move the camera around a lot. Change the framing, change the lenses, change your orientation from portrait to landscape. It takes a little bit of time to actually set up each of those shots, but just keep messing around with it and moving around with it. And you'll end up with an entire gallery of photos that looks super authentic and feels like you actually were out with a photographer taking these photos because you kept changing your angles. When it comes to posing, tip number three is alternate between serious and goofy. The more you can have dynamic posing within your photos, the better. Even if it's just yourself, go out and stand nice and stoic, look right and left, and then kind of get goofy and add some laughter and some movement into the photos and then back to stoic again. And this will allow your photos to be a lot more dynamic, a lot more authentic, and just leave you with a batch of images that has a lot more diversity. So hopefully that's been helpful and maybe we'll change your self-portrait game a little bit. If you have any questions about any of this or some of this doesn't make sense, feel free to DM me or leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to help you out with any questions that you might have. And if you're a Canon user like me and you wanna learn how I set up my R6 and all the custom settings that I use on that camera, click the video right here. I walk through the entire setup of this camera, all the custom settings, including the autofocus settings that I've used in this video here. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.